Quartermaster Quandary is a fast-paced puzzle strategy game that requires split-second decision-making skills in order to be successful. Now we built this in UDK and we've been working on this for about three months. We're still fine-tuning the mechanics uh, and then we'll be moving on to the audio and aesthetics paths. So keep in mind that we'll be including audio as well as improving the graphics. Now the first thing I'll show you is the level select system. As you can see this level over to the right has a small lock which we'll be making bigger in the future and then it's grayed out. Now if I click on the arrow to the right nothing actually happens. Now if I go back to the profile select we can see that that profile had not completed any levels and that is why. Now if we select this other profile that had completed all of the levels and then tab over you can see that all of the levels in the game are actually currently uh, playable. Now the backstory of Quartermaster Quandary is that the player takes up the role of a military quartermaster who might direct supply trains to various battlefronts across the war zones. As they do so and complete missions, they'll be promoted in rank and then move to new areas that are more difficult and dangerous and have more obstacles for the player to navigate. This way the challenge keeps increasing as the player progresses through the game. Now whenever a new mechanic is introduced, we'll be having an in-game tutorial pop-up that shows the player how to use that mechanic. Uh, in this case, this is the first level, so this just tells us how to speed up trains, slow them down, and to use the switches to direct the trains to different tracks. Now that we're in the level, I'm going to show you a few of the key elements. The first off is the Tide of Battle Bar. As you gain points, the blue side will fill up, and the object is to make it completely full in order to beat the level. As you lose points, the red side will fill up, and if it becomes completely red, you automatically lose. Also, if you fail to complete the level requirements before this timer expires, then you also lose the level. Now the easiest way to gain points is to deliver supply cars to the various battlefronts that use color-coded blocks that match these supply cars of the trains. So for example here, if I direct this train to this bottom center battlefront, you'll see these uh, boxes dynamically update as well as the tide of battle bar end up rising in response. Now the easiest and most common way to lose points is by crashing trains together. If I end up crashing them, you'll see that you end up losing points for each train car in the wreck, as well as the tide of battle bar end up um, displaying the loss of points. The other thing to keep in mind is that trains with less supply cars actually move faster, so you'll actually see that this train with two is moving faster than this train with four. In this case, it'll actually catch the four-car train and cause another collision. Now this level features teleports, and these are often used as shortcuts, or in some cases, uh, the only way to get trains to a specific part of the level. Now these are color-coded, so you'll see that this train here in the middle is going to the red teleporter, and once it does, it'll actually pop up and actually teleport to this left teleport here. And then same uh, with the blue one, the blue side here actually comes out and teleports to this blue side here. This level introduces triage trains, which are these trains here with the medical symbols. Now these are uncontrollable by the player, and these represent uh, wounded soldiers coming back from the war, and are often featured at the end of a level selection. Now as you can see, if you crash, they end up costing you points just like any other, um, and because they are uncontrollable by the player, they are definitely an obstacle that needs to be avoided as much as possible. And in this case, I ended up breaking this train so that it can end up bypassing. Now this level introduces bombardment. Now this is another obstacle like triage trains, um, and it represents the enemy shelling a key supply depot. Now as you can see, um, there's little shadow effects and so you can kind of see where the uh, shells are landing. Now if they actually land on a train, that was a very close call there, they will end up blowing it up and costing you points. Now as you can see I'm about to win this level so I just wanted to show you uh, what the result screen ends up showing when you win a level. Now in this case obviously I won. It tells me how many battlefronts I won, how many lost, and how many points I gained in order to win the level. Now of course if we, this was a failure, we'd have a failure uh, banner here, and then it would of course still show the points. But that way it gives the player an idea of 
how well they did and how they could improve. Now we've still definitely got some work to do on Quartermaster Quandary, but we end up planning on porting this to uh, iOS tablets. Now not for the phones because those have too small of a screen to really display the game effectively, but uh, we feel that the touch screens would actually do very well with the switches and clicking on the trains. So expect to see a port for iOS tablets I would say in about two months.